Howdy out there, home dwellers. Jay Boone down here at Emerald City Guitars. And today, I'm sitting down in our shop. We are not open to the public, but I'm coming down here and continuing to shoot videos with Trevor and staying up with social media and all that stuff. Done the uh, five fun and affordable guitars here recently a couple times. It's proven to be a lot of fun and quite effective getting people like cool, affordable guitars to have fun with while we're hanging out at home. Anyway, let's get on with five more fun and affordable guitars. So I'm gonna start things out with this Lore LH301T. And so what this is, is this a, is a modern day, kind of a remake of the Gibson ES125T. So a thin line body, two F holes, and a P90 pickup up here in the neck position. This is a really great guitar for the price, and we've sold a bunch of these. They're just easy to set up, easy to sell because of the price point, and they're, they're really well made. And they, the P90 sounds really great in this guitar. So if you're into blues, country, playing slide guitar, jazz, this is a, a really affordable, great way to kind of get into that genre of music. Flip this guy over, see the mahogany neck, the three in line, Clouson tuners, of course, three on the side, very Gibson-like there. Really nice, rich sunburst finish on this one here. Of course, a rosewood fretboard, dot inlays, very simple, very well done. The wooden bridge, trapeze tailpiece, and a very simple volume and tone control. Not a heck of a lot more to say about this guy, just a really fun guitar to play, and it sounds really nice with that P90 in the neck position, really warm and full sounding. This is a guitar that we have for $4.95 in our shop. And during this series, we're selling this guitar for $300. Great way to get a really nice, affordable Gibson style, thin line F-hole guitar. The next one I have here is one of those real cool, funky 60s Japanese electric guitars. And you can see this one here has two very unique pickups in it. Kind of Jaguar sounding pickups there. And uh, of course the missing knob in the middle position, no extra charge for that. Cool little metal pick guard on this guy and the three-tone sunburst finish like copied from Fender. Flip it over, you can see the Made in Japan sign on the back there and the open geared six and align tuning machines. So this guitar setup to play great. Man, it's, uh, it's lo-fi, it's funky, but it plays and it sounds really cool. Big dot inlays, rosewood fretboard, bowed neck, just a, a fun plug in and go guitar. This guy has a tremolo on it. I don't have an arm for this, but I imagine you could manufacture a little, like a Fender arm to, to work for that, but it's got the four springs there, as you can see, and this cool little white plastic adjustable bridge. Fun guitar, lo-fi, really cool for garage rock or any of that funky 60s kind of sound. This guitar, $5.95, regular price, on sale for $2.50. I love this guitar, man. The 60s Tysco is just a really great looking piece. I picked this up at a recent guitar show, and anytime I see a guitar that looks this cool, if it's playable, I'm gonna buy it. And this one I picked up and uh, we dialed it in and it plays great. Looks absolutely cool as heck. It's kind of a candy apple red finish on that guy. And you can look here and you see four tuners on one side, two in the other. Great Japanese craftsmanship, of course. Really great spring tremolo, kind of like the Bigsby Big Spring here. And you can see the, uh, the very tone, three switches right there, and a volume, a volume and tone control on uh, that really cool striped aluminum pick guard. These pickups sound really neat with a slide or if you want to just plug it in with a lot of reverb on a clean sound and loud volumes, man, it really delivers the cool surf sound. And what a great looking guitar, man. This thing is so cool. I love this thing. Anyway, this guitar here is regular $7.95 and we're selling it for $450. Great condition, all original condition, ready to rock. Okay, hang on to your seats, all you Randy Rhodes freaks. This is a really cool copy of Randy's famous polka dot V. This thing weighs about three pounds. It is super light. Flip it over, look how great that thing looks, man. It's just a fun, fun guitar to play. Of course, it's got the bow tie inlays. It's got two humbuckers in it with a tremolo volume. 
tone, volume tone for each pickup. Just a really fun, cool guitar if you're into Randy Rhodes. This thing actually plays and sounds way, way above its price, man. And I've almost sold this to a couple of touring cats that they come in, they see this guitar, they just want to play. They're like, oh man, I love this guitar, but you know, how am I going to take it on the road? But it, it's a popular guitar in the shop. We've had it here for a couple months and uh, it's, man, it's just fun guitar to plug in and play and you're not going to be disappointed in the playability or the tone on this guitar. It's a rocking guitar. This guitar here is 349 in the shop. We're selling it for 295 and she's ready to go, man. Plays great. Okay, you guys, I really have to apologize for this one. What simply hideous. This guitar, call it what you want, a can opener, a dinosaur. I don't know, man. This is the ugliest guitar I've ever seen in my life. The upside is it plays and sounds really good, man. It's set up with nines. Put some distortion on, plug these humbuckers in, man, and this thing shreds. If you can get over the look of it, you might actually enjoy playing this guitar, but man, I mean, what are you gonna say? It's ugly, it's orange, it's a rock and roll machine. This guitar, 295, first 100 bucks takes this guitar home, we'll ship it out to you with a free t-shirt. Look at that, how bad can it get? <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Five fun and affordable guitars. You guys stay safe out there, we love you guys. Keep calling us up, keep sending us emails, and watch for our YouTube videos and all our Instagram and social media coming at you. Take care, see you next time.